So in this video, I'm uh, going to show you how to use the Form Maker add-on to create uh, navigation routes or branching logic in your forms. So let me explain that a bit more. This form I've already created. Um, the first question is about the year group. So we've got um, five year groups in our school. Um, each has about 360 kids in. So I've created the first question is, is just asking which year group and then depending on their answer, they get taken to um, the appropriate page. And on there, there's a question where they just select the student from that list of 360. And once, once they've chosen a student, it takes them to the final page for the last question. So to do that, we use the navigation menu. You have to tell it which tab you want to make a, a navigation sheet for. And tell it to create the sheet. And it creates a sheet. It's the same name as the form maker sheet. Um, and with, then with the added navigation rules in. So on there, there's a link to the form, the form title, form description, if you put one in, and then it lists the multiple choice and drop down list questions and lists their, the options within those questions. So this is the first question about choosing a year group and it lists the um, available options. So here it wants me to specify which page that um, that you should go to if they say year seven. So I want them to go to the year seven page. So the drop down lists um, give me options for the all the page breaks I've put in, um, which are listed there also. Uh, it also gives me an option to go to the start, to go to the next page or to submit. So for this one, I just want to go to year eight. The remaining options, and with this one, there are something like 1800. I just want to go to the final page. So that's it ready, and then I can apply those rules. And because there's 1800 different options in here, it's going to take um, about three minutes to do, so I'm going to pause the video while it does that. So when it's finished um, creating nav navigation rules, the spinner will disappear. Um, so if we go and look at the live form, so I can choose the year group, click on next. And it takes me to the year eight page. And if I choose one of the 360 students, I click on next. And that's done. If I'd chosen a different year group, just to show you that this does work. takes me to the year nine page. And if I go to year 11, that takes me there. Um, so I think that's it.